today uh, I'm going to present an interview uh, about uh, uh, my boss that I have worked with him in Afghanistan. And actually the topic of my interview is about a military career. So uh, the, a little bit I'm trying to give uh, information about the person. His name is Colonel Reed. He has been working and he has served for 27 years in the United States Army. This person, for the first time, I have met him in Afghanistan. Uh, actually, he was my boss since 2011 uh, to 2012. I have worked with him as a translator and coach advisor in Afghanistan. And, uh, this interview took place in his house in Baltimore, Maryland. And, uh, my first question to start that why you have chosen to be in the military. So first he told me that, uh, you know, military is not life of everybody. Nobody can, like, it's not for everybody to come and participate in military. It's an honor job, and I'm right now happy and serving for my country with dignity and honorable. And I asked him, do you persuade your children to come and participate to serve for the military? He said, my all children are smart, and I'm not trying to persuade them. And this is the way and the life of everybody that they can choose where they want to be. He has participated to many operations, operations in living freedom in Iraq and Afghanistan. And I asked him, what is the most and the time that you are very satisfied? And he has told me a short story that uh, in Iraq there was an operation in the area that it was very difficult to go and operate and to bring peace over there. That was, that time I was really satisfied when this operation was contacted with honorably and, 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 and with very, and I got good results from that. So uh, after that, the government, and the government, the Department of Defense, United States gave him uh, uh, one of the highest rank for him that, uh, that he promoted. And currently, he's, uh, right now, he's working for Department of Defense and Pentagon as a resident officer for Eastern countries. And right now, he said that I'm very honored still I'm working for United States military. And I'll be proud to one day retire for United States military. 